shot! No way! No freaking way! What's up guys, it's your girl VIP Panda. Shout out to my subscribers who recommended this video. But today we're gonna be getting into a death battle video. I haven't done one of these in a long, long time. But um, I think I'm ready for this one. This is gonna be Omni-Man versus Homelander. It, it's a good match. That, I, that's all I can say. It's, it's a good match. I feel like it's 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 gonna be a rough one to predict. Let me go ahead and look at the synopsis on both of them. And I'll give you guys who I think might win. And if you guys have any video recommendations you already know, go ahead and leave it in the comment section down below. Or you can follow me on my social media. I'm mainly active on Instagram. I'm a cosplayer and I also do music, so check me out. Thanks. Alright guys, and without further ado, let's go. This episode of Death Battle is sponsored by BetterHelp and Mint Mobile. Oh. Mm, 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 mm. It's been a long time since I've done one of these. Oh, All right. man, the Oof. invincible champion from Planet Viltrum. Dude's Homelander, crazy. The world's greatest superhero. Brought to you He's by He's crazy Bot too. <laughs> Few heroes have stood the test of time with more aplomb than the very first. Superman. But Boys will be avoid going to specific detail regarding spoilers. Fact, okay, that's, that's good. Answer. We're all screwed. He's whiz and I'm boomstick. And it's our job to analyze their weapons, armor, and skills to find out who would win a death battle. Y'all ready? Ooh, this one's Look, gonna be crazy. Up in the sky. It's a bird. It's a plane. No, it's Omni Man. <laughs> mm. Had you go in there for a second, huh? Uh, not really. His name <laughs> is in the title of the video. Well, you might right. be <laughs> for mistaking Nolan Grayson for his classic comic inspiration. He's even got that sexy mustache that he's not afraid to hide with terrible CGI. Oh, or damn. On the planet Viltrum, Nolan was sent to Earth to act as its super-powered alien defender. Let's see, real name Nolan Grayson, age, uh, you don't know, 1,000 years, 6'2 in height, 250 pounds. Species, Vulture Might, and really wants his son to think. Yeah. Yo, dude is crazy. I, I don't want to get too much away, but he's not the best dad. Better suited to the task. He saved the world countless times, worked alongside the Guardians of the Globe, and even married and had a son, Mark. Life couldn't be better mm. until Mark inherited his dad's Viltrumite powers. That's He's when like... Mark found out that his dad was a stinking rat bastard liar. Mm. Turns out Viltrum wasn't exactly the peaceful utopia Nolan promised. Peaceful Damn. in the sense that they culled half their population, murdering billions with their bare hands until only Bruh. the strongest were left, united by a common purpose. This Viltr I remember watching the first episode of Invincible and Viltrumite Empire then went on I was to hooked. conquer planet <laughs> after planet in their I was own freaking galaxy, hooked. murdering any who dared oppose them. So just scratch that whole peaceful part entirely. And turns out Omni Man was here to do that same thing to Earth. Sorry, Mark. Your Damn. dad's a dick. Even worse, he's easily the most powerful being on the entire planet. Imagine uh, that kind of suits it up for me. Tonian <laughs> and the bloodlust of a Saiyan, and which again yeah. is basically a Viltrumite. Due to their unique DNA, Viltrumites are composed of smart atoms that they can manipulate to achieve superhuman feats, mm -hmm. like holding their breath for weeks on end by drawing more energy from the oxygen inside them. That's crazy. Them. That reminds me of that whole bioelectric aura thing Superman has. That's basically how comic writers bullshit a sciencey explanation <laughs> for his powers. Except I'll take it, I'll take it. Make even less sense. How can atomic structure be designated by your DNA? DNA is made of atoms. It's completely nonsensical biological hogwash that I cannot stand. Uh oh, comics fans. I'm calling this debunk. <laughs> Ultramites <laughs> can crazy. fly, withstand near absolute zero temperatures, and even Let's see, we got accelerated healing, we got flight, we got uh, inhuman longevity, we've got. Night and vulnerability. We've got resistance to star level heat and absolute zero. And we got superhuman uh, physiology and a bitch of mustache. Same healing factors. You know, stuff like getting punched through the stomach, having your guts. Yes, that out, is heat. Mm. This is crazy. This is about to be wild. Viltrumites in this series get fucked Damn. up and somehow survive. 
However, too much trauma to the brain or heart can overtax their healing factors, and okay. intense heat can be especially damaging. Even the most powerful Viltrumites can be killed by extended baths in the spicy hot plasma of a star. And because of their abilities, their inner ear vestibular system is far more sensitive than a regular human. Mm. Intense sonic pressure will disrupt their fragile equilibrium and yeah. prevent them from flying. Though, Ugh, pushing themselves man. to their physical you imagine bleeding out of your ears? Making them way stronger. And considering Nolan has been alive and planet conquering for thousands of years, he is easily one of the dude. toughest uh. Viltrumites around. Sheesh. Like other aliens this attacking dude's crazy, him, bro. literally splattered their bodies against him. But Mark didn't inherit everything from his dad. Despite his alien genes, mm. Mark was raised as a human with our weak, pathetic human values like love and compassion. <laughs> and totally murdering the shit out of everyone. So weak. <laughs> Really made it difficult for Nolan to relate to Whatever, bro. Because when these aliens invaded Earth, Mark tried his best to minimize casualties and outsmart his numerically superior foes. Nolan, meanwhile, tackled their leader through the portal back to their homeworld, mm. then spent some time systematically annihilating Damn. their planet for even daring to take Earth from him. Classic generational divide. Mm. Annihilate is underselling it. Nolan flew so fast that his body lit their planet's atmosphere on fire. Crazy as dude. <laughs> With his own body as the projectile. Omni Man had Damn. flown across galaxies in only a week, survived punching a hole through a planet, and even deflected a meteor the size of Texas. Assuming the diameter of the meteor is equivalent to the distance from the top of the panhandle to the Gulf of Mexico, That's that would make pretty it big. 1,300 kilometers wide. And Damn. weigh over 4.6 quintillion tons. Moving at re-entry speeds of over 11,000 meters per second, it had hit with enough energy to destroy the moon twice over. Sheesh. So Omni-Man is strong enough to slaughter those who considered him an ally. baseball around the Earth, after he said Texas. All to ensure okay. as seamless a transition to the coming Vigemite rule supreme. as possible. Too bad for Nolan, it wouldn't be that easy because he'd have to go through his son first. Mark was horrified by his father's treachery, spurred on by the reveal that Nolan only viewed his mother as a pet, a disposable brute. That is pretty wild, though. To what is life. wrong with this guy? <laughs> Mark's real Viltrumite training began. Get Damn. It? Training? Mm -hmm. like the train? Yes, we get it. It was a good pun. Oh, yeah, yeah this scene but, crazy. It was Omni Man that learned a lesson about humanity that day. He may have tried to turn Mark into a Viltrumite, but in reality, as Nolan fled Earth with tears in his eyes, Mark made his father human. Yeah, yeah. Give him some feelings right there. All right. Let's get into Homelander now. Welcome to Vought International, a multi-billion dollar American conglomerate whose number one products are the greatest this man. superheroes on the face of the earth. That's right. Superheroes are real and they're big business. Yeah, this first episode a crazy that too. <laughs> has a monopoly on popular culture, pumping out movies, TV shows, action figures, and video games constantly, mm -hmm. drowning the masses in a slurry of focus-tested nostalgia opium with no end in sight. Yeah. Imagine Within Vought's pantheon of gods among men is their premier super team, the Seven. To now who you think they are. Homelander. That won't give too much away. The, the charm, the Jesus, and Damn. most importantly, he's got the power to slaughter all of America's enemies at home and Sheesh. abroad. This guy probably eats freedom and shits eagles. But <laughs> the squeaky clean corporate sheen is only skin deep. Far from the big blue boy Let's scout he's marketed as. Home you got real name John, age 41, height 5'11, weight 165 pounds. I think he's already less um, than Omni Man and he's shorter. Um, species super abled human, leader of the seven, and enjoys attention, fame, and milk. Is probably Bruh, the closest you like to milk. Lucifer on Earth. <laughs> Remember Sheesh. bad future Biff from Back to the Future? Now give him superpowers and media training. Vought's official story is that Homelander was an alien who landed here as a baby, a tale we're all familiar with. And uh -huh. it's total bullshit, Homie was made in a lab with Vought's proprietary super soldier serum, Compound V. And he was a complete success. Mm -hmm. Too much of a success. He was murdering rooms of terrified <laughs> scientists before his umbilical Dang, cord was even cut. Bro. In the comics, <laughs> Vought had to keep a remote-controlled hydrogen bomb strapped to him at all times because they had no idea what else could possibly Possibly kill him. As he grew That's up, crazy. he was subjected to psychological conditioning to make him the greatest and most profitable hero of all time. It wasn't long before he debuted as Homelander, the ultimate defender of the American dream. 
Homelander mm. possesses massively superhuman strength, speed, and durability. He can fly at hypersonic speeds, see through walls with x-ray vision, and detect a person's emotional state from just the sound of their heartbeat. But you know you're that is a wild ability, though. That is out his heat vision, which is strong enough to slice through crowds of people or split airplanes. In yeah, I remember that. It screams so loud that it shatters the eardrums of anyone Sheesh. around. Him. They oh, both got that ability. Standards whose ears are exploding, by the way. Oh, yeah, he totally botched this mission to stop a plane hijacking so he forced each and everyone on board to die in the resulting crash mm. so they wouldn't reveal his incompetence well crazy powers may be real but his heroism is a charade though he plays his part well he cares nothing for the peons he's forced right. to protect the only thing he treasures is ironically his public image reputation out, being raised as a lab experiment doesn't create a healthy person but mm. don't worry he eventually cleaned up his act and started a totally 100% healthy sexual relationship with a fellow superhero who just happened to be an actual Nazi. Speaking of sex, Wiz, you know how I'm always saying we should figure out how Superman and Lois uh, get busy? Well, forget <laughs> that, because Homelander proved that they can't when his ejaculation blew his partner to smithereens. <laughs> what? Prove that. Look, there's no way to sugarcoat this, considering a human's load has much less mass than a shotgun pellet that is wild the what the over 1500 meters per second or five <laughs> times faster than sound that's right homelander can bust a nut faster than the speed of sound god well good night everybody who kind of sucks for humanity that they made this dude the most powerful being on the planet and a psycho murderer. That's no exaggeration. Stillwell even commented that Homelander has proven immune to every weapon known to mankind. Damn. No matter how powerful. Humanity Survive any known man-made weapon stronger than Queen Ma. Nuclear weapons as powerful as the Tsar bomb, which exploded with the energy of 50 megatons of My. TNT. Actually, it could have exploded with twice that, but the Soviets who created it were afraid it would irreversibly alter Earth's biosphere and end the world. That's right, we all almost died. And that's the kind of shit Homelander can shrug off no problem. He's strong enough Ooh, to this throw is, a jet with one this hand. This is hard. Fast enough to outspeed a C4 explosion. Despite being an emotionally stunted man-child, Homelander is still surprisingly cunning and able to manipulate those around him. Though it probably wasn't too smart to piss off the world's angriest limey, Billy Butcher. Oh, this guy. Yeah, turns out forcibly fathering a bastard son with someone else's wife is not a good idea. Of note, as unjustifiable as it is, to Homelander, this gave him something he never had before. Some small measure of control over his own life. Mm -hmm. Being born Von Star pupil meant he was under their thumb from the day he was born. His super-powered son was the first thing that was truly his and might be his best option for a new beginning. <laughs> or, Look no. at this, what the freak? <laughs> Alright, um, this episode is sponsored by Mint Mobile. Let me years of fine fast forward this. Plus high speed data. data through all wireless build. Alright. Alright, the combatants are set. We've run the data through all possibilities. It's time for a death battle! Woo! Okay, you guys ready? Alright, so I'm by this by by analyzing the details of both of them. Ah oh, man, I don't know. I feel like I feel like I want to say Omni Man's got the upper hand, only because he's a little bit bigger, and I feel like his <laughs> he's kind of more crazy. I don't know. Um, I don't know. I, I that's what I'm predicting. I could be wrong, but let's watch this fight. Let's see. Okay, starting off, with Omni Man. Howdy, neighbor. Coco, it's warm. You know, Nolan, Homelander is more than just a superhero. It might be cynical to say this, but he's a, a brand. And it's very important to me that that brand means something. Yeah, how many men don't give a I'm crap about that shit at all? Damn alien. What's well, really the point, right? What do you think, Debbie? Mm. Oh, Damn. she's shy. So, do we have an understanding? Get the fuck out of my country. Sheesh. I'm going to feed you your own heart. Damn! <laughs> Shit. That 
was a great life. Ooh. <laughs> country? Okay. Seriously? I'm not here for your country. Fighting on Christmas? Like what? <laughs> Squeeze his head. Oh, dang, the foot of the plane! Yo! Okay, yeah, yeah, he can do that. Oh, shit. Oh, yeah, he just ate that? Have you ever been hit by someone your own size before? You have to turn with the punch to reduce. Oh! Better. God! Oh, there he goes with that ear shattering ability. Oh, because image. Oh, shoot. Matter. Are you going to cry? Damn. He's not even scratched. Doctor, I'm done with you. I'm going to flash fry that little shit son of yours. This one left neighborhood. And every goddamn person you know. Oh, my God. What the? Oh, my God. Yo, he freaking took the heart. I promised you. He's done! He's, he fed him the heart! God! No way! No freaking Merry way! Christmas. That was so quick! Oh if my. there's a god, it sure seems like he was working out. Bro! Are you, are you kidding me? Well, I mean, Omni Man clearly don't care about nothing, bro. I think that's what ho holds Homelander back. Like he, he cares too much. But wow! Oh Some my there. God! Despite Homelander's dominance within the world of the boys, he's a big Holy fish in a small geez, pond, man. relatively speaking. Homelander can move faster than sound, while Omni Man can move faster than light. Homelander God, can survive uh, a nuke, just way while faster. Can shatter the moon twice over. To be fair, God. Homelander did have a couple of abilities Omni Man didn't, like his heat vision. Dude, and while healing factors have. You mean to tell me this man didn't even need his eyes, bro? He's like, nah, no worries. I still crush it. Like, continuous exposure the, to the heat of Oh stars, my gosh! That still took quite a bit of time, and there's no reason to think Homelander's heat vision was anywhere near that hot. Hell, Nolan's tanked heat vision from the superhero means supreme before who can vaporize oh people God. in an instant even if it was hot enough omni man's superior speed would cut him off before he could do any lasting damage similarly despite being able to disrupt his equilibrium with his supersonic screaming homelander wasn't strong enough to capitalize on it in any meaningful way plus while homelander Ooh. is pretty devious the animation the was good too for the fight it, omni man has been fighting and conquering worlds for thousands of years he comes from a warrior culture based on fighting it makes sense on the other hand, <laughs> from a test tube and never had to push himself as a fighter because he was always so much stronger than everyone else. And yeah, that's the key yeah. difference between uh, okay, one okay, that makes sense. And the other is a boy. Homelander was never bro. going to give up easy, but Omni Man's skill, power, and Viltrumite heritage earned him the win. You know but what's crazy about Omni Man? He always says what he's gonna do. Comes like, to Superman knockoffs. Homelander had to eat his heart out. Mm -mm -mm. The winner is Omni Man. God, you imagine choking on your own heart, bro, getting fed to some by somebody. And we've launched a Golly, that was a crazy episode. I can see why you guys want it. This one specifically, knowing that I was gonna come back to start doing death battle videos, you guys were like, you gotta watch Omni Man vs Homelander, and hands down, really good. Really great fight. Um, wow. <laughs> Damn, bro. Omni Man, he just, he's lethal. Uh, if you guys want me to watch another death battle video, let me know in the comment section down below. Make sure you panda punch that like button. It really helps out the channel. I really appreciate it. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel, guys. All right, then. And until next time, bye.